For today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make this delicious chicken tikka masala. I'm also going to make the curry and the brown basmati rice together at the same time using the Instant Pot. By making the masala paste, you are able to freeze this and make curry any time of the week in less than 30 minutes. So here is the recipe for the masala paste and also the masala sauce. If you would like to have a very creamy consistency to your curry, use heavy cream in place of the coconut milk. We're going to start off by making the masala paste first. I'm adding onions and garlic into my Vitamix or you can use a food processor and I'm also adding my almonds. To this, I am squeezing in the lemon and all of the spices. And again, all of the ingredients are listed in the beginning of this video. So follow those ingredients. And to this, I'm also adding cilantro and some salt. We're going to grind this up until it forms this thick paste consistency. And this is something that you can just pre-portion and place inside the freezer and this will last pretty much forever. So it's something really good to have on hand whenever you need to whip up a quick dinner on the weeknights. I'm adding some of the Greek yogurt that I made inside the Instant Pot and that's another recipe that you can find on my channel. To this, I'm adding some of the masala paste and I'm just gonna mix that in with my chicken breast. The chicken has been cut into bite-sized pieces and after mixing everything in, I'm going to place a plastic wrap and place it inside the fridge for at least half an hour. I turned on the Instant Pot to the saute mode and while that is heating up, I went ahead and pre-rinsed the rice and also placed it inside a separate pan. And to the heated pot, I'm going to add the masala paste and I'm just going to cook this for about 30 seconds. This will really help bring out that fragrant flavor from all the spices. Then I'm going to add that marinated chicken into the pot and then I'm just going to cook this for about one minute. After stirring it around for about a minute, I'm going to turn off the Instant Pot and then to this, I'm going to add the coconut milk and also the tomato puree. Just make sure that all the coconut milk and the tomato puree gets really mixed in with the chicken. And then I'm going to place the trivet inside the pot and then going to place the pre-rinsed, the brown uh, basmati rice on top and then close the lid. If you're using a bowl and don't have a lid, just use a plate to cover the top of the bowl. I'm going to press the pressure cook button or you can use your manual button and cook it for 22 minutes. And after just five minutes, do a quick pressure release. You're going to see a lot of steam coming out, but that's okay because we don't want to overcook the rice. And the amount of time is perfect for the chicken to have cooked all the way through. Carefully remove the lid or your dish and then you will see this nice, fluffy, perfect consistency brown basmati rice. Take that out of the pot and also take out the trivet. Give the curry a nice stir and then you're just going to notice that the chicken has been cooked all the way through and if you are using coconut milk, uh, just keep in mind that the consistency will not be as creamy um, as if you were to be using heavy cream, but this is a much more healthier alternative by adding coconut milk. And this is all ready to be served over your rice. I personally like to add some cilantro on top of the rice and mix that in with the curry because I just happen to love cilantro. You can always leave this out. This will go wonderfully with some warmed uh, naan bread. And also this is very freezer friendly. So this is something that you can make ahead of time, place it in a container and take it to work during the weekday. 
Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Before you leave, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do upload new videos every week and help me support my channel by clicking on that big thumbs up. I will see you guys next time.